Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy, and I also am ETCG1, which is the video that you're watching right now is on my ETCG1 channel. I'm usually wearing a different hat, and I'm sorry that I'm out of uniform, but hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Please enjoy this digital cake I found for you on the internet. In the past, I've done videos about companies that I've done business with where uh, the product didn't necessarily work out or the service wasn't good, that kind of thing. And I put that out there sort of as a, a PSI kind of thing for you, just to put it out there and say, hey, look, you know, I've, I've had these issues with this company. I hope you don't suffer the same fate, that kind of thing. Sometimes it gets the attention of those companies and sometimes they change their ways, but so far, none of them have. But this video, I'd like to do something completely different, and that is give a company praise. And that company is Eldebrock. Here's the story. I am sitting in front of my dad's truck, and those of you that are familiar with the build, there's a lot of work that was done. The engine, the transmission, the rear end, the brakes, the suspension, all of it, all of it. I'll post a link in the description down to that playlist so you can check it out. But one of the things that I put onto it during that time was an Eldebrock Pro Flow 4 uh, fuel injection system, multi-port fuel injection system for this small block Chevy that I've gotten this. It's a Chevy 350. Um, it's what the engine, it's the engine that came in this originally. It's been punched out to 383. It's well, it's potent when it runs. That uh, ProFlow 4 fuel injection system, I've had kind of, well, some issues with it. And one of my main problems with it is trying to connect to the computer. It's a Bluetooth connection, so you need a little tablet and you need to connect to the computer with it. Sometimes, well, that can be a little dicey, just that connection, just getting the two to talk to each other. And sometimes it's the tablet and sometimes it's the computer. It just, it's, it's Bluetooth, so it gets weird. But that's my biggest complaint. And I think to remedy that, just having some hardwired connection, just give me a way that I can plug my USB into it, just plug directly into it, talk to it, that'd be great. Aside from that, I've been having some issues with this pretty much since day one. And that issue was, is the idle would fluctuate. It would, it would sit there at an idle, like 800 RPM, 750 or whatever, and then it would slowly raise up to about 2000 RPM and then go all the way down. Like it was cycling the idle air control valve. So it would like raise up and then go down. And then it would sit for a little while and do nothing. And then it would do it again. I have been chasing my tail on that problem for Ever. Well, finally, I, I said, you know what? Let's take a look at the RPM signal. So I looked at the signal coming out of the distributor and it's a Hall effect sensor and it should have a nice square waveform. This one did not. This one had kind of a funky waveform and, and it didn't look right. And so I suspected that that could be one of the causes of the problem, an RPM signal. If, a, if an engine is trying to find idle or a computer is trying to find idle and set it, it's got to know the engine RPM so that it knows if it's doing the job or not. And if it's getting a bad RPM signal, well, that can affect things like the idle air control valve. It doesn't know what to do. So it's like, hey, let me just see where I'm at. It's a stepper motor. So it knows exactly what position it's in when it moves in and out. Anyhow, I found that signal problem and I, I didn't just condemn it right there. I reached out to my friend, Scanner Danner, and I showed him photos and videos of what I was dealing with. And Scanner Danner's, you know, he's not a guy that just sit there and just say, okay, yeah, that's a bad waveform. It's a bad sensor, throw it out. No, he's not like that at all. In fact, he's like, did you check system voltage? Did you check uh, resistance to ground? Did you check all these other things to make sure that, you know, there isn't some other contributing factor, something that perhaps I did. And in fact, to that end, there's a lot of connectors that I used on this, on this truck that I'm finding are not working out. So I'm having to go back and replace a lot of those connectors. And that is also contributing to so, some issues. So I'm, multiple things that are going on, but one of those things was that signal coming out of the Eldebrock distributor. And finally, Paul and I agreed that, yeah, it wasn't a great signal. So I reached out to Eldebrock and I got that system in two, 2018 and it's 2020. Well, I reached out to them, and one of the reasons I did this is because you can't necessarily find the parts for this distributor, the Hall Effect sensor, or I would need to basically get a hold of Eldbrock and find out whose sensor they used in their distributor so I can replace it and see if that really is the issue. Anyway, I reached out to them and said, hey, I'm having this problem. You know what they said? They said, you know what, Eric? Send us a distributor and send us a computer. We'll check it out. Really? <laughs> that was like five years ago, and, and I don't know if it's because I'm Eric the car guy or what. Possibly, you know, I, but anyway, I, I've, it's not just me that's had good experience with Eldebrock. I hear a lot of people say the same thing, especially with their tech support. When I first started this thing up, I was on the phone with tech support. If you watch the video, you can see it. And they were extremely helpful to try to get me up and running again. They seem like gearheads that really care about what they're doing, care about their products, and they stand behind them, which, come on, what more can you ask for from a company? So rather than coming and calling out a company that, well, I, I wasn't necessarily satisfied with, I'm doing exactly the opposite here. And I'm saying, Eldebrock, you are awesome. And so I suppose you're wondering if there's a happy ending to the story. Well, yes, there is. I did replace that distributor. They sent me a new one and they sent me a new computer and I got it all together and I got it running. And one of the things that I did notice and one of the things that was kind of clue me into the problem to start with is when I set base timing. When I would set base timing, the timing mark would kind of wander around 
You know, and, and I see that with like a worn timing chain or something of that nature, something, you know, causing that to happen. Not with a brand new engine with a brand new timing chain and all that kind of stuff. It just, it seemed weird that that timing mark was moving around. Well, after installing the new distributor, that timing mark was dead on and it didn't move, it didn't wander. And I was able to, after a while, it did do a couple of idle air control valve cycles, you know, it cycled in and out or whatever, but I was finally able to get it to a nice 750 RPM, nice and smooth, no idles moving around or anything like that. So I believe the distributor was the issue, but Aldebrock took care of it like long after warranty and they didn't have to do that and I appreciate that and it's not just because they did that for me just in general anytime I've ever dealt with them they've always been eager to help and they seem like gearheads themselves so I, I just think that's awesome so rather than calling out a company for bad customer service or bad products I want to do exactly the opposite today and sing the praises of Elderbrock and ask you what are your experiences with Elderbrock or what experiences have you had with companies that you really appreciated how about you share those down in the comments thank you so much for watching today and thank you Elderbrock for being awesome thank you thank you thank you if you have automotive questions, EricTheCarGuy.com Eric the is always there for you. Um, there's links to that down in the description along with additional information, additional videos and stuff. So check the description. There's always more stuff. More stuff. Thank you for your time today. Be safe. Have fun. Stay dirty. I will see you next time. Like I said, it's running great. That's a cooling fan. Gotta put it away now it's raining. Safe have fun, stay dirty.